What better way to spend a wet Sunday morning than doing a spot of farmyard ratting? Oh, thanks. Glamorous it isn't, but it's effective. High octane, poison free pest control. Man down, man down. Yes, yeah, he might get an invite by Sacco to go to bloody Lapland, mate. Look at this. East Sussex in the rain, and we've had a coffee at McDonald's. It, I don't see how it can compare. No, no, it doesn't. It clearly can't compare. No, I'm just waiting for the sponsorship. We've not been waiting a while. Oh, God. Flipping hell! Hold on. I've only got a stick to lean on. Organised disorganisation, really, because it is chaos. When it breaks, it, it is chaos, and it's every dog for themselves. Plus, is you know, we're trying to reduce the amount of sticks flying everywhere because dogs can get hit by them. Prefer the dogs catch them. It's easier, much easier. The dogs enjoy it, and it takes a lot of their frustration away. They've got one here, so I'm you one there we go. Of course, the Kent and Sussex Ratters have suffered from Covid, like every other participation sport. Still, the dogs are showing no sign of lockdown lethargy. Yeah, well, we're, we're working that way. Yeah. Are you be on the um, Strictly Come Dancing next year, do you think, for that sort of move? I doubt it, very much. <laughs> We'll Wouldn't get a man to lift me. <laughs> that was fast footwork. <laughs> Rats like it warm, dry, some food um, and undisturbed. So I think a lot of them may well be around the houses of the animals. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to work that out. So what we will do is work our way round until the dogs mark something and then we'll have a dig out, see what okay. we can find. Okay. There is also young blood in attendance today. 16-year-old George and his friend Ashley are really getting stuck in. From turning over the flattened shelters to rattling the rats out, hiding in the wheel arch of this caravan. You seem to be doing a lot, a lot of the work here. Are you enjoying this? Yeah, I mean, I haven't I done ratting for two years now, but I tell you what, I have missed it a lot. I have yeah. missed it a lot. I What's do, so I special do about ratting for you? What is it about it? About ratting, I think it's just the adrenaline that keeps you going all through the day. It could be a wet and windy, snowy day. You could be cold, you could be tired, but that just a little bit of adrenaline will keep you going all day, which is, a, <laughs> which is really good for me. I really like it. Cool. Now well done, good luck. These terriers have incredible prey drive and amazing noses. Penny just keeps digging for victory. And the good news is blue sky over there, which yeah, is uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. It, which is great. <laughs> which is great. We're all being vest and pants now, like we like we used to do PE back in the seventies. So we'll, it'll be it'll be good. I think there's still plenty more to do as well. And forget COP26, ratting is leading the way in reducing its carbon footprint. Move aside oily smoke spewing chainsaws and say hello to wind power. Uh, Brian's decided to do a bit of gardening while we're ratting, I don't know why. There he goes, there he goes. Look at that. Yeah, that was it. Big old, yeah, big old boy actually. Yeah. That's a, a decent sized buck right there. Penny dead. Well fed and unmolested, those. Well, we 
found that it, just a, a leaf blower will move them easy, uh, a lot easier. And that's noisy, they don't like the noise, they don't like the vibration, but just the feeling of that wind blowing is enough to dislodge them. And of course you can do it in confined spaces, uh, and it means that no one's getting a headache, and the dogs aren't collapsing, uh, and you know, it's a lot safer all round. You know? So there, the things you learn, eh? I don't know. It's the arms race here. Yeah. It, it, it is. Uh, I mean, the rats will always win because they're so industrious. Their ability to survive is second to none. When you look at where they can live and what they live on, um, they're just amazing. I mean, we don't do it because we hate them. I mean, we, you, you've got the oh, whole. Excuse me. After a two-hour soaking, the sun comes out to play and the ratters have done their bit, accounting for 34 of the critters. 34 rats, again, as we said earlier, if you count for the multiplication, that can account for quite a few. So, yep, we're really pleased to come out, filled a lot with back, uh, <laughs> uh, and ready to rock and roll. The dogs are, some of them, not as rusty as you thought they might be, actually. So, no, really pleased to come out and, um, and, and 33 rats, or 34 rats accounted for is, is decent. We'll take that. What a morning, where these little dogs just do what they were bred to do.